Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI. 800-950-6264. You can also text at 741741. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So I know you all must be wondering, what is she up to? You know, what is she doing? So I did this because, you know, I was praying and I was uh, thanking God for my channel and the growth that I see. And I just wanted to do something just a little different. Um, this is not going to be my setup always, but for this week, I just want you to bear with me and watch the videos and you'll see where I'm going with this. So today I want to talk about how the narcissist is always visible, you know, um, they're always, when you start a relationship, and this is going to be for the people who are still in a relationship and also for the ones who have newly uh, gotten out of the relationship and uh, just wondering. So we're going to start with uh, the people who have gotten out of the relationship. Uh, and I'm one of the ones that's been out of the relationship now going on four years. Uh, but the narcissist always try to be visible and um, I want you to be aware of that. So this comes with a little story time. Last night um, I went to bed and, you know, I prayed like always and everything was fine. And um, I was really tired. I had a long week this week. So um, I didn't, I watched TV a little bit, but quickly turned the TV off and uh, went into a deep sleep. So I was just uh, sleeping, not really having any dreams or anything. And so um, it seems like, uh, you know how you feel re uh, renewed and rested. So it felt like a, it was time for me to wake up. I, you know how you're just kind of tossing and uh, turning in the bed, but you're comfortable. So uh, before I woke up, I was going down the stairs in my home, in my dream. And when I went downstairs, I could see in the top of the door, there was, in this dream, there was like a window I could see outside and it was dark. And I saw my ex standing around my uh, home and actually looking at me as I come down the stairs. And then, um, I quickly ran back up the stairs and once I got upstairs, I saw my two older children and they were trying to cover me and protect me and uh, show me how I could get downstairs without him seeing me. But I realized that he had ran off as we looked at one another, he ran off. So I was telling my children, I said, no, I said, I can um, just walk downstairs. I said, I don't need to be... Um, hidden from him. I can just walk downstairs. And then I woke up. As soon as I woke up, um, spirit said to me, you just need to be aware that he's still watching you. And whether that's physically, physical, I'm sorry, whether that's physical or energetically, he's still watching. So I said all that to say this, just because you have gotten out of a relationship and you may be feeling a certain way, you may feel that this person um, was your last hope or uh, you've made a mistake for leaving a relationship or you may even feel like this was the best thing that could have happened to you and now you want to know what to do with all this excitement and this energy that you have. Uh, Spirit also wants you to be mindful and stay vigilant in uh, your healing whether it's um, you making sure that you don't allow this person to come into your space uh, in the present or when you're in having dreams, you know, because you know how you sometimes you can be sitting around and you think about a person and then all of a sudden you get a phone call from that person. So that's energy. So it's the same thing. 
And I can clearly say I hadn't been thinking about him or anything, but it's the other way. It's vice versa. He was thinking about me or he has been thinking about me. That's why spirit is showing me that I still need to protect my energy and I need to protect um, myself when I go out, you know, make sure that I'm watching my surroundings and all of that. So um, because these people, narcissists, they may have to let you go uh, physical, but they're still trying to mess with you spiritually. They're still trying to invade your energy. So when I get in a space like that, um, I go ahead and I take a spiritual bath. And what that means for me is I just stand under clean water before, uh, once I uh, wash myself, I stand there and I speak. I talk to God, I pray, you know, and I ask God for his protection and his guidance and for anyone who has ill will or intents toward me for that to be removed from my energy. So that's how I take my spiritual uh, bath or shower. So um, I just wanted to say that to the ones who are newly out of a relationship and you may be wondering why are you having these thoughts about these people or why are you know, you feel on edge or something of that nature. So that's just spirit letting you know to be mindful and to protect your energy. And so now for the ones who are still in a relationship and you just don't know um, what to do, you can feel that something is not right about the relationship, uh, but you just don't know because this person is always in your face. You know, you see where I have the red roses and then I have a skeleton in the midst of this. So this person is always in your face pretending to love you and care for you, but you know something is off. You can feel something is off. But if you look over in the background, you see that gold beneath all the red and the black um, flowers, you see the gold there. And that spirit letting you know that he's still there. But we all have free will to do what we want. We don't have to listen to our intuition. We can continue to think that this person means, uh, means the best for you and is there to help you, but they're not. They're just there to invade your thoughts and always make you feel like you need them. So I want you to be mindful of that. And if you're in this relationship and things are not feeling right and uh, you feel like you're on a roller coaster up and down, that's when you need to pull back and, and talk to spirit. Ask God to help you to um, recognize what you need to be doing in this relationship. And the best thing you can do, like I've always said, is get to a place safe. Leave this relationship before you end up being with a person that's... Um, could end could be the end to you. So you don't want to stay in a relationship. I know, uh, just like, um, well, I know that I watch the news and every time you see something on the internet, it's about a person losing their life because they no longer wanted to be in a relationship. Um, so I want you to just be mindful that you don't have to stay in this relationship. Do whatever it takes to get out. I haven't said this in a while, but sometimes going to a shelter, you know, isolating yourself from this person may be your best bet. And you may be saying, well, this person is not hitting me. This person is not um, abusing my children. But I just want you to understand that mental abuse is just as bad as uh, physical abuse. So don't stay in a relationship because you haven't been hit yet. Uh, it only in a matter of time. If you stay long enough, um, it will end up to violence. And I know a lot of people may say, well, I've been in a relationship for years and this person has never laid a finger on me. But what has this person done to your mental? So that's something to think about. If you know someone that's in a relationship like this, or if you're the one that's getting out of a relationship and you don't understand why you keep having thoughts or dreams, just understand that this person is also manipulating your energy. They're thinking about you and they're making their self present. So what you need to do is make sure that you stay um, prayed up. You know, you go to the most high, whatever you believe in, um, you keep deflecting this person's uh, outreach to you. 
So please remember to share this video, watch it as many times as you need to. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.